you just mentioned about the tech sector, right? We've um, seen the FANG index retest its previous highs again. And could you, like, could you provide insight into how mega cap tech stocks are responding to, we spoke about the 10 year yields and how that's been reacting, but to these structural increase in 10 year yields, how has that been impacted? We've seen this AI frenzy tech, tech stocks go absolutely crazy. Uh, they've pushed the S&P and the NASDAQ up almost to new highs. People, like you said, people are thinking there might be some steam left, but we now see markets reacting differently. Mm. Yesterday with the Fed minutes, they've given a strict call. And people have reacted. It was a shock to investors. We have the Jackson Hole next week again. Tie all that up for me. What do you expect next? Well, the Jackson Hole is going to be quite interesting because obviously in 2020, um, that, that's where Powell had introduced the average inflation targeting framework, mm. right? Um, I want to see if there's any mention of that again, because the, to be fair, they're approaching roughly their their target now. And again, it comes back to those time lags. You know, how long does monetary policy take to feed through? Are they now concerned that they're reaching the upper bound of their their limit? Almost, you know, they they might reach it in under a year. Um, so it's a very interesting time. But I think you know the the tech sector dynamic, the way that I like to reframe tech stocks is their their blue chip. Sovereign bonds mm. at the end of the day. Where is the safety? Is the safety at the moment in treasuries, which are linked to inflation, you know, if you're taking a directional bet? Or is it in Google, Facebook, uh, Amazon, which mm. are still providing earnings? Mm. And apart from Google, still providing a dividend. Mm. What is it? Where would you rather be? You know, we people are, there's like the emotion of, oh crap, we might be going into a recession. But then there's the reality of, Oh, we're not actually in a recession. Unemployment strong. Mm. Credit spreads are still really, really narrow. You know, there's there's so many stories coming out, and I think this is where mainstream media. Sorry for saying that, but <laughs> it's true. Mainstream media does a real disservice to people, yeah, because they're fear driven. Um, and if you're actually allocating capital, if you stop and pause, you're like, but nothing's actually wrong yet. There's a lot of data out there that's bad, but nothing's actually breaking we mm. saw so i mean this is a perfect example so we saw obviously silicon valley bank mm. break go bust we saw uh credit suisse go bust yeah it, but they're like footnotes for two weeks whereas if that was 2007 a massive investment bank going under pff, god that would have been in the news for a year mm. and it's because of all of the liquidity that's out yeah. there still you know all of the, the liquidity but the other thing as well that I think is a, a, a big change is the, the 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 introduction of the regulations and capital buffers. They couldn't make as much noise because then they'd be saying, oh, crap, Like our regulations aren't working. Our capital mm. buffers, are, mm. uh, after all of these years, you know, they, they actually don't work. So, mm. yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff going on out there. But at the end of the day, people are still buying. The S&P mm. gets bid up every mm. single time it hits a low. I, again, everything points to requiring unemployment to break, to reduce mm. that credit liquidity, if you like, of people being able to use their wages to pay off their debt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at credit spreads, look at unemployment, see if they correlate. It's probably quite a good uh, signal to see mm. if there's there's issues coming up. Have the markets lost trust in the Fed, you think? No, they're completely guided by the Fed at every mm. single turn. Mm. Like the Fed, do you know what? I think Powell's done a fantastic job, quite mm. frankly. I know most people would like rail against him, but <laughs> what more signposting and guidance could be provided? Yeah. You know, what more could they have done? Um, they, they're kind of bound by their role at the end of the day as, as buyer of last resort. And everyone is going to pin the blame on the Fed because right. at the end of the day, they control the market. Mm. They control the direction, let's face it, the US Correct. Treasury. Um I, I think they've done a good job.